Yes, please. I would love to go live. Check my camera settings. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just wait and then uh, we'll get started. Start recording. It's just a little bit early. That's all. That that's all right. That's that's fine. <clears throat> right, <clears throat> we are live once again on YouTube. Hello, everyone. Welcome back on the stream. I hope you all all are well. Uh, I have to say, uh, today. I've had a good day. I'll get into that later. Uh, right, so um, we're live. Yes, we're live. Hello, everyone. We're live. Now, uh, welcome back to Train Simulator uh, Train Simulator Classic. Um, this is... Um, this this is um, going to be a route building uh, live stream today. So for those of you who are uh, expecting something else... Uh, then uh, I do apologise, <laughs> but no, we, we we're 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 gonna be having we're gonna have a good live stream today because um because we're building we're building a brand new racetrack for 2023. It is kind of a tradition now on the channel that every time a year passes, uh, we build brand new racetracks uh on uh on Train Simulator and then we race trains and just you know, see, see see um see how it goes. Uh, and it's going to be different because this is the first time ever we've added stations as the starting line and the finish line. So, um, so I'm going to give you guys a tutorial. Well, not a tutorial of how to do a bit of route building, but also I'm going to give you guys a tour of what we've done so far. So obviously this is the starting line. Uh, once this racetrack is done, can we test it? Uh, yes, we 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 can certainly test it. Oh, yes, we 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 will definitely do that. So, uh, so this is going to be the starting line. We have got not as much platforms and uh, tracks as we had on the last uh, racetrack. This racetrack is obviously a lot more um, thinner and less wider. Um, so, who have we got here today? Uh, only play. Uh, I only play Roblox on Train Sim because my mum won't buy Train Simulator Classic. Oh, that, that, that's not a good start. So that's that's a shame. I'm sorry. Uh, if you finish the. Um, I just read that, didn't I? Uh, my old channel was gone, so I had to make a new channel, and I finally found you, BBK. Well, welcome. Well, I'm glad you found me again, once again, my friend. Repton says hi. Hello, Repton. Hello, Laser. Hello, everyone. Uh, are you going to do a stream on the 24th of February for Flying Scots and Special Day? Indeed, I am. I mean, what, 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 what will be the day, actually? Let me just check. It'll be a Friday, wouldn't it? Hmm. Just could uh, do Friday live stream instead of Saturday. I could I could do that, but we normally live stream on Saturdays though. But um, I, I suppose we could do it on a Friday. Just maybe just this once, couldn't we? Uh, so let's do let's let's um. So this is the starting line, obviously, on the brand new racetrack. So um, obviously we're gonna be adding a lot more scenery to this. So I can't wait, and a lot more detailing too, because you know we want to make it look good. We want to make this racetrack look good this year, don't we? Uh, me and Ollie aren't friends anymore. Oh, that's a big shame. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what is that uh, model behind you? What model? Oh, the model behind me. Well, I've well, I've got two. I've got. Um, I'll pull it forward just a little bit. I don't even be able to see that, but it's my spam cam uh, West Country class. And behind me there, I've, I forgot that I had a model there. Uh, that is my one-to-one -one collection and A4 Bitten. That is what's behind me. Cute headphones. I th I, I like that. I think these heads. I, I like these headsets. I, I I like the little ears. I I find I find them really adorable. I don't know why. I just do. It's just I don't know. It's I I just thought I need something more different for the channel look. And I, and I, and I like the ears. The, the, the ears are good. I, I I think I like them. What would you guys think? Anyway, um. I just, I just, I don't know. It's just, I just looked at the headset and I just thought, wow, I, I gotta have one of those. Um, anyway, so uh, should I buy Microsoft Flight Simulator? Uh, I recommend it. It's, 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 if you're into planes, then yes, definitely. Right, so let's get going, shall we? So, so, so this is the, uh, so obviously this is the starting line uh, on the racetrack. Uh, we've got overhead wires, and the speed limit on the racetrack is again 1,000 miles per hour. So we start off from this big long straight out of the city. 
and then we slightly do a little cut. Well, we do two curves. We've got one here and one here. And then, interestingly, uh, we come out of the city and onto this big main line. The main line will go straight into the countryside, past um, Bill's farm. And we've also got a level... I've added a level crossing on the racetrack. Isn't that clever? Uh, where did you get your headset from? I want some. Uh, I got it from Amazon. They weren't cheap. Um can't remember how much they were, but they were a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, we've got a level crossing, and we're going to pass uh, Bill's farm. Uh, Laser, do you like the Boeing 747? Yes, but it's not my most favourite plane. My most favourite plane is the, actually the Airbus A380. So once we pass Bill's farm, we're going around this big curve through the countryside until we get into this big forest that I'm planning on making. Um, and then next to the tracks on the right, we've got a motorway or a dual carriageway. Um, and then we've got some trees and we've also got like a little motorway bit. Now, for those of you who live in the UK or, or Europe at all, uh, you recognize that the mo that our motorways kind of look like this. So I've actually met, built like a nice proper, um, a proper, you know, proper dual carriageway. What about a pond? Ooh, see, that's why I'm doing this live stream. You guys are going to give me some brilliant ideas for this racetrack. So, uh, anyway, so when we come across this big bridge where the tracks and the road uh, go underneath this big bridge, but then the road slightly goes up and over the uh, the tracks and it just goes off in the distance. I'm, I'm not going to add any detailing there. And then the track goes round in this big loop circle and then it goes uphill slightly over the road and over the uh, the tracks. And then it'll just go all the way this way. And then a little bit of lefts and a little bit of right until we come and straighten up. And once the, now the finish line, I'm actually really impressed with this. The finish line will spiral around and come down here next to. So, so it's sort of like parallel to the you know other side of the tracks so when the trains are coming in we get to see who's far behind and who's about to come in or who's stone dead last and then we have the end of the line so at the very finish we'll have like a big like uh cool uh celebration thing um and we actually have a finish line now we've got these two big post things that's holding up the uh the overhead wires and they're gonna basically be our finish line so whichever locomotive stops first at these buffers is the winner. So we've got a brand new finish line. Now I think um, this racetrack will have a lot of potential, but obviously uh, it's nowhere near finished yet. But um, that's what we're going to do on this live stream today. So um, if you guys have, got, have any ideas of what we should put on this uh, on this uh, racetrack, then I am at all opened ears, my friends, because. We have got a lot of detailing to do. I mean, we're not gonna, we're gonna make it super detailed, but I don't want to make it plain and boring. We wanna we wanna make this uh we make this good. Laser, will you do a uh sorry, will you do a race? Um, well, I, I, we, we can have a test run, can't we? Uh, so what I'm gonna firstly do is we need to finish off the overhead wires, and that is what we are going to do. So let's just have a look and see how much spacing there is. Okay, so we can get rid of that one. And just want to line up just a little bit. Like so. Oh, it's so good to be doing some route building again. It has been, uh, has been some time. Hi, Mr. Oliver. Do you use a uh, graphic mod for Train Simulator Classic? Uh, I do. Well, it's, 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 an, it's, not, it's a mod, but it's, it's, it's not really like a mod where you can just download. You have to buy it. It's, it's actually an enhance, it's an, an, an enhancement pack. That's, um, what it is. Um, Laser, do you know about the TWA uh, Flight 800? I don't know what that is. If it, if it sounds like an air, an airplane. If it's an airplane, then I, then I, would, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. So we got a lot of... Um, and the and the further for the first time ever, we're actually adding overhead uh, wire pillar things. Because normally when, I'm, when I make a racetrack, the overhead wires are just hovering there. But we want to add some... Uh, some realism to this racetrack. So and that's why I'm adding these like um these pillars to hold up the uh the uh the overhead wires. Cause you know, because you know we wanna we wanna make a neat job out of this racetrack, don't we? Um we can give it of that one, can't we? It's a bit too close. Um move that one down a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
Is it AW Enhancer Two? Uh, I think it's the. I think it's just the first one. I don't think it's number two, but I think I think it's just the first one, my friend. But yeah, it that does about right. It does sound about right, I think. Um. So yeah. Uh, did you see the World Cup? Uh, probably not. I think my sister did though. My sister. If it's football, then my sister would love football. Um. Is it AWR Enhancer Two? One hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. I have no idea. I think it's the first one. I didn't know there was a second one. Uh, play Roblox again. No, I've only played Roblox once and I didn't enjoy it. I don't get that game. I don't... Um... Oh, in fact, speaking of games, I have been playing a game recently that I actually really like. And I was actually thinking maybe next week I should do a live stream on it. But I want your guys' opinion. Um, I need you guys to answer me something, actually. If, if you guys don't mind, of course. Um, American calls football soccer. Indeed, they do. <laughs> Indeed, they do. Um, it's true, they do. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I've got a game idea that I should live stream next week, but I want your guys' opinion. Um, right. So let's pop one there, and then let's just save it because uh, you know, this 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 game crashes all the time because you like you know it's train simulator. It always crashes. Um, okay. The game I'm suggesting. Uh, it's got nothing to do with Train Simulator whatsoever, but I just thought it'd be a fun idea to uh, to live stream it. It's called Sea of Thieves, and basically, it's a pirate game where you have to go around loot stuff and um, sail the seven seas in a, in a pirate ship. And I've been playing it non-stop for a, a few days now, and I've um, and I actually really like that game. And I was just wondering. If you guys would be interested in me actually live streaming it uh, next week for next week for, for for next week's live stream, but it's it's up to you. Uh, if I donated one, <laughs> if someone donated that much, I will make a Roblox channel. But um, <laughs> I remember someone donated um, five. I think it was was it? I think it was a hundred US dollars to get me to play Roblox. I th I think um. I think that was it. Um, yes, do it. Hi, ladies. I was, uh, I'm wondering how you got bitten without streamlining on the sides and double tender. Um, what the Hornby model or the or in Train Simulator? Uh, are you talking about the the Hornby bitten or the Train Simulator Train Simulator bitten? Um. Sea of Thieves, yes, uh, it's called Sea of Thieves, and I was just win I was just wondering if you guys would like me to live stream it uh, next week for um, for for next week's live stream, basically. Um, God, we have got a lot of overhead panels to do. This, this this could take some time, but it looks good. It looks good. I had never heard of that game. Okay, well that's all right then. If you if you've never heard of the game, that's fine. Hi, I'm back. Hello, nice to have you back. Hi, ladies. Uh, do you have any um? So have you any? He just took. Uh, no, I don't never really. I don't even know what that is. Don't know what that is, my friend. You have to remember, I'm not the brightest person in the world. I'm not the smartest or the bravest. Um, I didn't move the track, did I? I hope not. If I did, then I'll be doomed. Be doomed. Uh, okay, Laser. What are your thoughts on the original? Uh, Thomas TV show. I love it. I love the original Thomas the Tank Engine show. It's um, and I, and I miss it. I, I I grew up. I grew up with it, and um, I I, I do miss it. Now they've got the, like some like two D animation nonsense. Uh, right. I think we're almost there. I mean, I know this is a very boring job, but it it's got to be done. Like. If you're watching this on a repeat, then just skip for a f skip a few hours. But if you're watching this live, then uh, unfortunately, um, you'll have you're gonna have to watch this until we're done. But yeah, you know, I'm planning to get a lot done. Hopefully, we're gonna do some trees and bushes next. Um, once we finish this, and we can actually add some proper detailing on the side. But it's starting to look good, isn't it? Have a little look. Uh, straighten up just a little bit. Yeah, let's save that. Uh, emotional, uh, emotional damaged. Not damaged. My computer froze. Um, 
Oh no, your computer's frozen. Hey, Laser, I got a Hornby Terrier and a Hornby Golden Arrow for Christmas. <gasps> You've got a Hornby Golden Arrow for Christmas? Oh, I want a Golden Arrow. Actually, I'm not kidding. I actually looked at my, uh, I actually looked on eBay for a Golden Arrow with my dad uh, a few days, like, 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 literally like two days ago, I think. And, um, we were looking at the prices of the, of a Hornby Golden Arrow. And they are not cheap. They are quite expensive. But my god, they look nice. Oh, I wish I had a golden arrow. I love the golden arrow. Uh, how much longer, Laser? Uh, until we get to the end, which um, well, we're coming up to a straight bit. I've got a plan. I've got a plan for a straight bit. So uh, you've got nothing to fear, my friends. I have a pl rest assured. I have a plan to make all of this go faster. We just need to get to the straight bit. So um, so not 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 much longer. I hope just. Uh, because you have to remember, root building takes patience. Patience is key, my friends. I think that's why I'm good at root building. It's because I'm, I'm just so patient. Like, this, these things are are very uh, time-consuming, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, hi, Lisa. I was wondering how you got bitten with the streamline on the two tenders uh, on Train Simulator. Oh, on Train Simulator. Well, um... Obviously, they're reskins. Uh, what I got, well, what I did is I got Sir Nigel Gres. I think it was Sir Nigel Gresley. Uh, yeah, I think I got Sir Nigel Gresley, and I reskinned Sir Nigel Gresley into Bitten. And what I did is I got Flying Scotsman's uh, double tender. Uh, from uh, it's it's a reskin um, from a website. I can't remember which website it was, but they reskinned Sir Nigel Gresley. And Flying Scotsman's double tender to make it look like Bitten with the two tenders. And, um, and it worked out quite well, actually. Just, um, just need a lot of, uh, DLCs to buy. That That's all. Um, right. Are we nearly there? Oh, we're, ne we're nearly there. Good. Good. Put one there. Another one about there. Well, no, maybe about there, I think. And then save it again. Lovely. I forgot to chat. Oh, new track. Uh, Love Heart. Ooh, excellent. So you guys, um, Oliver, you play most rubbish... Sorry, Oliver, you played the most rubbish game in Roblox. Roblox. Oh, did I? Well, I guess I'm just stupid then, really. You have to remember, I'm not the not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not the, the bravest or the wisest. But, um... But, you know, I'm me, and I like, I like being me. And that's a good thing. It's good to like yourself. I think it's weird to be in love with yourself, but it's good that you like yourself because it's a very important thing. Because if you don't get along with yourself, then like you know what's gonna, like what's going to happen in life. I mean, I'm the I'm the I'm the last person to ever give advice to anyone. So, for God's sake, don't uh, don't uh, don't listen to me because I, I I I I'm just full of nonsense. I'm not very good at giving out advice. I mean, sometimes I give advice to myself. I mean, that's okay. You can give advice to yourself. Just not to other people. What key do you press to use the horn in Train Sim World 3? Uh, I'll use um, spacebar and N. I know, it's because uh, normally it's spacebar and B. But um, for Train Sim World 3, it's spacebar and N for the two-tone horns. Are we, sh are we on the straight bit yet? Oh, we're nearly on the straight bit. So we'll do, we'll copy these two and line it up there and do the same for about here. There we go. I think we should be on the straight bit. Oh, it's relatively straight. So what I'm, what I'm, what my plan is, is to, if I line this up and then copy paste and paste what I was thinking of doing and I'm not sure if this will work but I was going to copy this one 
copy this one and copy that one and then copy all three of them but obviously i'm gonna have to like you know line them up a bit like so so we've got one there and line it up and one there yeah well that's uh Oh, that, 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 that makes things go a lot quicker, doesn't it? Oh, Oliver, you are a genius. So, one there. And lined it up. One there. Oh, you have thought of everything, Mr. Oliver. Yes, you have. Sometimes, like, you know when you have, like... You know when you do something and it actually turns out to be a, like a really good idea and you're just like, oh my god, it actually works. It's like, it's, it's like that. Weirdly. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a weird person. Uh, line it up there. And one there. I think maybe two more. Maybe one more actually. One there. And about there. And then we'll get rid of that one. Then line this one up. Ready to go down in the spiral. Right, let's save that. There we go. That, saved, that has saved a lot of time. Do you know how fast the ICE 3 uh, can go? No idea. Uh, uh, oh, what's going on? Uh, hope, is everyone okay in the chat? I haven't read much of the chat today. You should play Rolling Line, trust me. Oh, that sounds fun. Do you have Vehicle Simulator for Pirate's World? I've never... Uh, uh, I don't think so. Let me have a think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, Oliver, did you know that Train Simulator is the most expensive game out there with the DLCs and you are the biggest Train Simulator YouTuber out there? Wait, really? LaserJet is the biggest train simulator YouTuber in the world. How interesting. Oh, we got our first super chat of the night. Uh, Foxtrot says, oh, no, I'm late. Oh, no, no, you're not late, my friend. You're, you're absolutely fine. Nice, nice to see you, Foxtrot. And thank you so much for your incredibly generous donation of um, five US dollars. Welcome, welcome to the live stream, Foxtrot. I'm, I'm actually glad you made it. And thank you so much for your amazing super chat. Um... I hope you're having a good day. First Super Chat of the night. Thank you so much, Foxtrot. Big, big, big thumbs up to you, Foxtrot, for being the for being the first for tonight. Excellent. So we've got that in the log. <laughs> log. Get it? No. Okay. So we're nearly finished with the overhead wires. We're nearly finished. Just one there. One there. One there. And one there. Lovely. I was just noticed you can't really see the chat very well because you've got the things in the way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the chat on this side so you can actually see the chat i've just realized that i do apologize chat because you could actually really see the chat uh when i'm root building mm, you gotta take care of these things oliver you gotta make sure that you know everyone can see the chat so again not the smartest person in the world but like you know when there's an issue i fix it when i can uh God, we're nearly finished with the overhead wires at last it took me forever to do these uh, these overhead wires. You, know, you, you guys have no idea how long it took me to get these overhead wires like done. Like it's it, it, it's 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 effort. It is a lot of effort. I'm not gonna lie. I hope it's not like hovering in the. No, it's not hovering. Good. Um. Okay, this is where things get a bit tight. <laughs> Giggity. Don't say that. Don't don't say that, Oliver. Don't say that, Oliver. Why? Why, Oliver? Why? Um, they're not straight, are they? But, you know, it doesn't matter. So one there. And one there. And one there. You should put Oliver the tank engine on your uh, in your name. Hmm. Oliver the Tank Engine. Well, Oliver the Tank Engine is already taken, isn't it? It's, Oli it's Mr. Oliver himself, isn't it? So that's why I just decided to go with Mr. Oliver. I just I just thought it'd make more sense. So I don't know why, but I do call myself Mr. Oliver sometimes. Like, you know, you know oh, Mr. Oliver, you're not doing this properly, aren't you, Mr. Oliver? No, you're not. But um, I, don't know why, I don't know why I do that. 
just something I do. Please read my chat. Uh, what plane you think is better, Concorde or an Airbus A380? Well, both of them are leagues of their own, really. Concorde is a beautiful aircraft, and it was, like, above all, super fast. But an Airbus A380, like, is, like, a cruise ship in the sky because it could just withhold so many passengers. It is a... And the thing is, like, the Airbus A380 is a very special aircraft because it's a, it's a double-decker plane, isn't it? Because... I don't know why, it's just... um. I just I just really like the Airbus A380. I would love to fly one in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I don't think there is one uh, just yet. Come on, Microsoft. We need an A380 in uh, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Come on, Microsoft. Give us an A380. I might have a guy flying Concord in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. There you go. Look at that. Look at all the power lines. Whee! It's not perfect, I know. But hey, let's save that. And it's done, I think. I mean, if we get rid of one of those, and move one of those, and, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe this one, put it there. Oh my god! Jaws12413! Uh, just sent a super chat of, uh, 30 US dollars. Oh my god! Oh my god! I uh, wanted to say, I am excited to see the, uh, sorry, see the, um, Finally, product uh, of your new racetrack and the future races to see. Also, I wanted to wish uh, the beautiful Flying Scotsman a happy early 100th birthday and wish her many more years to come. Thank you, Jaws, so much for sending a super chat of 30 US dollars. That is incredibly generous. Jaws, thank you so, so much. Two big thumbs up for you, my friend. Whew. I was, I was not expecting that. Th th thank, thank you. So much and ow, 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 ah, 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 ow. Oh, oh my foot is just in incredible pain. Ah, you know when you um get your foot in a, in a position, and you know it feels like your foot's being crushed because your foot is so cold. My foot's it, that's what it feels like. It feels like my foot is being crushed because my foot's so cold. Oh, that, that was painful. Bad timing to get a foot pain, Oliver. Ugh. Oh, always the uh, the bad moments, isn't it? Um, but no, Jaws, again, thank you so, 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 so much. Well, if I've, Oliver, if I donate £73 or uh, all money in the second server account that I don't use, will you end stream? Wait, so, hold on. Someone wants to donate to me for me to end the stream. Here you go. Here's some money. Now just end the stream. I don't, I don't, I don't see the logic in that. Or maybe I'm reading the message wrong. Oliver, if I donated that, all the money in my second um, saver account that I don't use, will you end the stream? I don't, I don't it doesn't make sense. Hey, Oliver, somehow I managed to get the Golden Arrow tr uh, set with track, motor, and controller for only £119. That's very good, actually. A Golden Arrow train set for just £119. That's actually... That's actually really good. I'm actually really jealous. I'm actually really jealous now. Oh, well, well, well I'm glad... Um, well, I'm glad someone's happy. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Oliver, answer off 225, Boeing 747 or an A bus A380. Out of all of them... I would prefer the Airbus A380 out of all of them. But there we go. Power lines are done. Hooray. And that's taken me 30 minutes-ish to do. Lisa, have you ever played Minecraft and F Fortnite? Well, I've played Fortnite and I have played Minecraft. Minecraft was actually, the very was actually one of my first gaming videos I've ever made. Hello, my English fed. Hello, Seb. Nice to have you here. Right, there you go. Power line's all done. Hey! Uh, now, let's start adding some uh, hills. We need to add some hills to make it look more like... Because uh, having a flat surface, it's boring, Oliver. I don't like it. So we need to add some hills um, to make it look more countryside-like. So we can just add just a few tiny diddly hills, like so. 
Because if I make, if I make them too tall, then you know it, it it just it just won't look as realistic as it should be. And we want them to make it look realistic, don't we? We want to make it. We don't want to make it look silly, don't do we? So if we have a look, see, we've got a little bit of hills there. We need to uh, maybe we'll have a bit. Maybe we'll have a bit of hill there, a bit of hill there, and maybe just a little bit there, and so on. Good. We could make them a bit taller though, can't we? In in some areas, just don't want to. I just don't. I just don't want to be racing on a flat surface. Flat surface? Surface. I don't want to be racing on a flat surface. It'll be rubbish. We need some detailing. There we go. So just a bit of heels in here. Oh, we've got another super chat from Harry. Harry! Is I have been uh, programming clan line to, do, to go 200% power. Ooh, you've been doing some programming of yourself, good sir. I like it. Apparently, I've been teaching people how to program, which is cool. It's good. Right, so there we go. We've got some hills on that side. Looks very nice. Obviously, we need a little bit more. Like, you know, just in the in, in the far distance. We'll have, like, in the distance, we'll have, like, very big, tall um, hills. But not, 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 not too tall. We'll make it a bit more realistic, don't we? Um... Every other train simulator YouTube, sorry, every other train simulator YouTuber has under eighty k subs. No. Oh. Well, what about um? There's a YouTuber I know. What's his name? Uh, Squirrel. Uh, have you guys heard of the YouTuber Squirrel? Um. Oh my God! What happened there? Oh, let's fix that. I don't know how that happened. I wonder how that could have happened. Um. Yeah. There's a YouTuber called Squirrel. Doesn't he do uh, like train simulator stuff? Have you guys ever heard of Squirrel? And what about the other one? Um, Mole Man, I think I think that was his name. I can't remember. I don't. I, I, how many subs does he have? I don't know. There was a there was a, there was a there's a few other Trace Blade YouTubers out there. Um, Oliver, can you do a review on the um, Edinburgh to Glasgow or Trade Sim World Three? It's cool. It's from Rivet Games. Ooh, I'll be sure to ha um, have a look at that, my friend. Of course, of course. I um, I will definitely see what I can do. And see if we can actually do a either a video or even a live stream on it. Or maybe I'll do both. Yeah. Do both, Mr. Oliver. That's good. See, I just call myself Mr. Oliver once again. Uh, from what I've seen, he's done it from time to time. Oh, okay. I see. Have you watched uh, Joshua? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know who that is. Ne never heard of him or her. Could 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 be a her, you know. It could, it could be a girl. I mean, you know, YouTuber is for everyone. You know, it could be a girl. Right, let's save that and have a look at this heel that I've just been making for. I don't know why. Oh yeah, see that looks a bit more realistic, doesn't it? Got some heels in the background. Yes. Now we need some trees now, don't we? And then we'll mix them into fields. So let's go to the tree icon. Uh, we've got some bushes. Ooh, we'll have a bit of a bush, good old bush. And the thing is, it, need, it like you know, it doesn't have to be straight. It could be curved, bent, and and it could be any shape you want, Mister Oliver. It's a racetrack, and you can do whatever you want. We do need a fence, though, don't we? we? Need to put a fence up somewhere or somehow. There we go. And you know, maybe for extra detail, maybe I should add signals. But I'm just worried would the signals interfere? With the programming. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a let's have a look at that. Oh yeah. And add a bit of uh, a bit of like, you know, brambles and trees and stuff. Like I tell you what's amazing as well. Like like when you start adding like bushes and stuff, like it's amazing of how something a world so plain can start making it look more like a like a like a real life place. Look like, it gives it more realism and more detail. It's it's, it's amazing. Right, let's just save that. Could you turn the grass into sand? Uh, yeah, we can. We could do that. Yeah, we need to. Uh, someone, someone wanted me to add a pond. We could do like a, a big. Uh, well, if we go over here, what we could do is we could add a river and a river bridge. Mm. Oliver, could you turn the grass into sand? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm playing Train Simulator Three. Oh, Train Simulator Wealth Road, maybe. Are you going to test it out after? Uh, yeah, we can give it a test, can't we? Once um, once I've got some more stuff done. I mean, 
there are there we have got so much more to do. I'm I'm not gonna lie, but um, don't want to add too much detailing. Otherwise, like you know, this 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 world will never run. <laughs> oh, I just hiccuped. Good job, Mr. Oliver. So there's some uh, more grassy stuff here. We need to, we need to add some trees, don't we? We need we do need some trees. Let's uh. So just this little section. Let's see what happens if we find some tree. Oh, we have got some grass. That's good. Some. Uh, we have to. Do you know what would be cool if we made like a beach as well? That would be brilliant. Um, only other train sim user I I know who gets a lot uh views, and that is uh Angry Welshman Productions. Wait, really? Let me have a look. Let me have a look at that because uh, I think I've heard of that name before. Let me just uh, YouTube it and just have a look. Um. Oh, here we go. Angry Washman Productions. Yeah, that, yeah. They get. They. I think he gets um. Quite a bit of views actually. He's got. He's. He's, he's nearly got ten thousand subscribers. That's good. That's actually very. That's very good. In fact. I I still remember when I when I first hit ten thousand subscribers. I still I still remember that I was I was in my I was in my old room, my very 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 old room uh, at my mum's, and when that sub count clicked over ten, well when it clicked at ten thousand, I was I was I I still can't believe um like I I I still can't believe like the day I hit ten thousand. And then a few months later, I hit twenty thousand. I was like, "Oh my god, I actually doubled my progress. How has that happened?" Then it crept up to thirty thousand, then forty thousand, fifty, then sixty thousand. I remember when I hit uh, fifty thousand. That I said to my viewers that um, we're halfway there to my uh, sub goal. And then we hit sixty thousand, seventy thousand, and now we're at the moment here we are at. Um, 85,500 subscribers. I mean, we're nearly at 85,600 subscribers. We're actually seven subscribers away of hitting 85,600 subscribers, guys. That's, um, that is, that is so impressive. Aha, trees. We want trees. Um, I, I do, I don't know why. I, re I, re I really love these, these 3D looking trees because, I don't know, they just, they just look better. I mean, the 2D trees are all right, but I, oh, this is a nice tree. I do like the the three D trees because they just give more detail, and the two D trees are, they just look a bit rubbish. That's all. Um, oh, these are nice. We'll pop some there. See, look at that. That's starting to look good, isn't it? So I think for close ups, we should have like um, the three D trees, but for far away, we'll have the um, we'll have the 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 two D trees. That make, that would that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense, Mister Oliver. Yeah. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh my! Oh my God! You have more subscribers than the official Train Sim World YouTube channel. Oh, do I? Ah. Well, you know, it's 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 a team effort. We we did this as a team. It, it it's all my all my subscribers are my team, and we and we did this together. It was it's not just me, guys. It's it's all of you guys that help support this channel as well. So. We did this together. It's as a as a team. It's it's not just my work. It's all of the work you guys put into to to support this channel as well. So it's it's a, it's a team effort. That's why I always say that you know that, that when when some YouTubers say that I hit a hundred thousand subscribers, I actually think of it as we did this as a team. We hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Well, that's what I'm going to say once. Well, if we ever do get to a hundred thousand subscribers, that is um that's that is my wish for this year. Um, I actually wished that on my birthday, actually. Actually, like, before I blew the candle out on my cake, I actually said, I wish I hit 100,000 subscribers this year. That is, um, that is, that is what, my, that is my birthday wish. Because <laughs> my birthday was literally a week ago today. Uh, hi, ladies, I saw I'm a bit late. That's all right, my friend. At least you're here now. That's all that counts. Doesn't matter if you're early or late. At least you're here. And that's all that matters, my friend. Um... Right, let's start adding some like background trees. Well, like have a few trees here, 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 here. Don't add too much. Uh, where are the? Where, we need the two D trees. Um, oh, a three D one. I like the three D one. Pop one there. Very nice. I'll 
probably put another one there because it's quite a big. We can actually make the trees different sizes. So if we make this one a big tree, so look at that. Ooh, that's nice. Um, and have a little bush there. Lovely. We'll have like a little tree next to it. Right, where are the 2D trees? That's 3D, that's 3D, that's 3D. 2D trees, here we go. So we'll pop some there, there, there. We need them sort of like scattered around a bit, don't we? We don't want them in the line. We want them like all bunched out. Let's just see, these are forest trees. I think they could they they can work, can't they? If we if we bunch them all together a bit. There we go. And just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. It's, it's just a lot of copy and pasting. Sprint says, Mr. Oliver, are we playing later tonight? Uh yes, we are, Sprint. Yes, we are. We're gonna be playing uh Sea of Thieves tonight. Because I just bought myself my own I bought my own ship. I worked very hard of uh, earning my ship. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, well me and we, we and Sprint did this. As a, again, me and Sprint are a team. There we go, let's have a let's have a quick look. Or before we do, let's just add a bit more trees. More there. More there. And just some random ones all over the place. Yeah. More trees here. Some trees there. We're gonna, we're gonna turn some of this into fields as well, so it's not like we're just gonna fill it full of trees. We do that, add some detail to it. Laser, do you still have a Discord server? No, I don't, unfortunately, and it's and it's for a good reason. But I'm not gonna get into that. Um, some more trees there. Some more trees around here. Kind of looks like Microsoft Trade Simulator now with all these like trees in just random places. It'll look a lot better like once once the detailing is done properly. I'm just pushing, placing these down here randomly just to see what it look like. Um, and and the key is is to use lots of different trees. Never use the same tree, otherwise it will just look unrealistic. Ah, these are the kind of things I'm looking for. Big trees. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. It might make it look ridiculous, but hey ho. There we go. Some there, and maybe like one or two there, and some there. Maybe some of these trees here. And then we go to paint, and we change the color of the grass. So they're about, we'll have about 100. Make the trees a bit more, like, you know, give it like more darker grass. In fact, we'll, we'll beef up to 200. There we go. So it looks a bit more forest like. Then over here, we'll have a much more darker green. Pack like a, a forest base. Um, and about here. We're using different ty types of green. Let's have a little look. Maybe a bit more green there. And then change colour to a lighter green. And this is gonna be like the start of a field We're heading towards um Bill's farm, I think. Do it nicely, then use a different shade of green again. Maybe a lighter color. Just play around with it and just see what what, what comes up, I suppose. Um, and save. Right, let's have a little look at that, shall we? Oh yeah, now that looks nice. Doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, I think we could we could change um. Into a, like a more uh, bushy color, like um, let's try this color. Let's have a look and see what this looks like. A bit, a bit more lighter than the other one, but not too light. Ah, there we go. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? So we got Bill's farm all the way down there, and we've got lots of trees. And the motorway. And then we could start making like a... Maybe like a river and a big lake around about here. And then uh, it'll come straight back into the city. So we've got one city here. And then uh, on the other side... We have somewhere around here. Is another city right here. Good. I think we should start testing it now. What do you guys think? I think we should, Oliver. That is a great idea. Hmm... Just curious to to think what we should have. 
We should start testing a train. What would be a good idea? I've got clan line. Let's try clan. I like clan line. And we'll have her support coach as well. Spin around the other way. And should I, maybe should I have another boss from Games Loco. Maybe we should have... Um, hmm. Could have... Waybridge. I think that's a good idea. Should we try should we try Waybridge? I would like a I would like to have Waybridge. Just need to remember, is it this one? Uh that's Tangmare. One late BR Green. Um Bodmin versus Waybridge. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll have Bodmin and Waybridge. It's that is actually a great idea. Uh, what number is Waybridge again, guys? I forgot. Because I'm, because you know I'm an idiot. Uh, what number is this? This is uh nine. This is six oh three squadron. We don't want that. Need a West Country. Uh, that's a Battle of Britain. Uh, West Country. Guys, you know? Do you guys know what number Britain is? Because I forgot. I mean, I know. I think three. Three four oh sixteen. I think that's Bodmin, isn't it? What, 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 what was what was the Waybridge? Because I forgot. Um, three four zero zero seven. That sounds that sounds about right. Um, and Bodmin was three four zero one six. I believe. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't. I don't mind saying that. I mean, I could. I could be wrong. Um, I just need to find out if it was if it's this one. Let it load in. What trouble with Bossman Games is it, it takes a long time to to load in. That's a Battle of Britain, Battle of Britain, Tor Valley. Oh, hello. Right, and then we'll have uh, as. Three four zero one six. Good. Um, so we'll spin them around. Bodmin and Waybridge. Now this will be something. Tender. I don't know what Bodmin's tender is. Um, I'll just go with. I'll just go with that one because that's just what I feel like going with. And Waybridge is tender again. No idea. I'll just. That's British Railway. Southern, Southern, Southern. There we go. These could be the wrong tenders, and if they are, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know. Te I don't know tenders. Right. So we have Bodmin there, and Weybridge there. Uh, and we'll just have a coach on the back. We'll have um. Where's AP coaches? We'll just have. We just have southern green ones. That'd be a great idea. Yeah, we'll just have like one coach each. Um, there you go, Midhance Railway coach. So we'll have uh, that one. We'll just give them, we'll just give them the same coach. Or actually, no, we'll give them different number of coaches. Good. So platform one, two, three, four. So let's have a look. So um, I think that's Waybridge. Is it Waybridge platform? Uh, Three, I think. Let's just have a look and see if it works. Platform three, good. And we'll have you on one hundred and fifty percent power. And Bodmin on platform four with one hundred and fifty percent power as well. Is this gonna work? I don't know. But someone did tell me. I actually, someone did tell me as well that um. You, Oliver, you need to have a coach on the back of Bossman Games' engines or they just won't race properly. And, oh my god, we just got another super chat, a big one. James the Red Engine Productions just said, Hello, Jet. Sorry, hello, Lazy I have to go somewhere. I will probably see you next week. Uh, sorry, next week's stream. Uh, see you, Lazy Jet. James the Red Engine, thank you so much for sending a super chat of 20 US dollars. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. And if you guys want to get a big shout out like James the Red Engine Productions and uh, Jaws, um, because Jaws did send a donation of 30 US dollars as well. Um, if you guys want to get a shout out like these amazing people, uh, just send a little super chat. It doesn't have to be too big or too small. Um, if you want to earn, earn a super chat, 
feel free. And I just knocked, and I just knocked into the microphone. Well done, Oliver. Uh, what's happening? Right, we're about to race, guys. Uh, is everyone ready? Uh, have sorry. How do you move the entire consist? Uh, you hold down shift and click, and then you just click and drag whilst holding down shift. That's how you move the whole consist. Right, are we ready to race, guys? Bodmin versus Waybridge. A lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time. Here we go. Bodmin versus Waybridge. Here we go, my friends. Uh, a lot of people are saying use the class 373. Here we go. Two Bossman games out engines, Waybridge and Bodmin. Two fantastic engines, by the way. Here we go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, watch Mr. Beast. Uh, so, do you watch Mr. Beast a lot on YouTube? I do, actually. Wait, just waiting for the race to start. Who do you think, guys, will... Uh, who will you guys race against? No idea. Okay, Bodmin and Weybridge. Which one is going to win? And which one's going to come in first place? So far, it's neck and neck. Bodmin and Weybridge are setting off. Both doing very steady speed. So here we go. Oh, that is so cool. I've got how amazing, like, trains, train racing is. Come on, you two beauties. Well, that is a, that is a cracking shot, isn't it? Maybe that should be the new thumbnail. Come on, away we go. Go, go, go. Come on, two beautiful engines. Here we go. Two West Country classes. <laughs> so, who's pulling away? It looks like Bodmin might be ahead ever so slightly. Bodmin. I love Bodmin. So, uh, oh, I forgot to put the Superclass 47 down, didn't I, Mr. Oliver? Yes, you did. But so far, Bodmin's got a slight little lead, but Weybridge isn't giving up that easily. Well, this is actually quite close. This is amazing. I think it's because Weybridge has got the, like, maybe she's got, like, more water in her tender. Maybe it's slowing her down. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to be entering the main, main line now. Class 373, please. A lot of people are wanting uh, the Eurostar, don't they? So here we go. Coming to the first corner. Oh, this is amazing. Look at the speed of these things, guys. So back on to go. They're on the main line now. I, I definitely need a super class 47 for this because this is just, uh, it's just amazing. What, what? I mean, I don't even know what speed they're going. Level crossing is down. Good. So they passed the level crossing, past old, uh, uh, old Bill's, um, Bill's farm. Level crossing should go up, but yeah, the level crossing's going up. Good. Now we're coming up to lots of tree. This is actually a really big racetrack. I didn't actually realise how big this racetrack actually is. Imagine if one of them derailing. Ooh, Bodmin is winning. So look at the speed of these guys. How fast are they going? They're gonna be they're gonna be wasting a lot of steam. Bodmin has got a slight little lead. I don't know how though. I thought I thought Weybridge would be a bit faster since she's a bit more uh, streamlined. Yeah, I have no idea how fast they're going. But I've never seen I've never seen Bossman Games' trains run this fast before. Right, we're coming up to the big bridge. Here we go. Oh, this this looks like, like I'm train spotting, doesn't it? Meow. Oh, I might have. Uh, uh, messed that up, but we'll try again on the uh, motorway bridge. Come around to the big, big loop now, my friends. Whee. Now, this is where Bodmin will have the advantage because Bodmin is in the uh, inner track and Waybridge is a little bit on the outer track, so Bodmin's got less distance to travel. I'm sorry if my camera skills are not, like, the best as well. Go on, Bodmin. Come on, Waybridge. Don't give up yet, old girl. This is actually a very close race. I mean, of course they are. I mean, they're both they're both Bossman Games as engines. Mm. I'm actually curious to see how uh, Clan Line will go. I think Bodmin is faster because it has a bigger sorry because it has bigger cylinders. Maybe that's that's quite a possibility. Uh, do an electric race of a Class 290 Pendolino and a Class 221. I thought Class 221 that's a diesel, isn't it? Okay, they're going up the hill now, my friends. Going over the big bridge now. 
I want to. I also want to give a shout out to someone uh, in particular. I don't know what your. What, I can't remember what your name was, but they said Oliver, you need to put a carriage behind Bossman Games' locomotives. Always they won't race properly. So I want to give a big shout out to you, who's the, whoever suggested that. I want to say a big thank you and a big shout out to you, my friend, for suggesting it. Cool. Look how like Weybridge is like really close next to Bo uh, Bodmin. I mean, I think maybe Weybridge might be slightly catching up. I'm not. I don't know. Let's have let's have a quick look at Bodmin. See how Bodmin's doing. Hello, old girl. Oh, her nameplate's wrong. I gave her the wrong nameplate. She's supposed to have a red nameplate, not a black one. Oh well, never mind. Do I like Formula One? Yeah, it's all right. It's not really my thing, but yeah, it's all right. It's it's cool. Look at, the, look at the speed of these guys. Bodmin's doing very well. What about Weybridge? Um, it looks like Weybridge might be catching up a little bit. I'm not sure. We, we, we could end up with a tie. After all this time, we could end up with a tie. For our very first race, it could be a tie. This is actually the first race of 2023. I've just realised that. I'm glad it's uh, Bodmin and Weybridge. Because these West Country classes, they're such nice engines, aren't they? I mean, you can't deny them how nice they are. They're just so nice. I mean, I, I, mean, I like them. Well, no, actually, no, I love them because they're West Country. And I'm glad I've added these um, these pillars to hold up the um, the overhead wires because it because it gives it a lot more detail because it feels like we're on a, on a real main line, doesn't it? Rather than just like a bit of track in an open area. It's good. It's very nice. There's Bob M and there's Weybridge. Yeah. That's actually a quite cool shot, actually. I'm actually curious to see how, like, who's actually going to win this. Because we are coming up to the end of the finish line now. And I have noticed that they uh, they have started to slow down a bit. They're, they're not as fast as they were before. But they are coming up to the, they are coming to the end of the destination. So, where is the, where is the city? Uh, the city is not actually built yet, my friends. Um, we need to work on the city, actually. But, you know, this is good. This is very nice. First race of 2023. I've just ripped a bit of my own skin off. Ugh. I've got to go. by. All right, my friend. Well, thanks for coming on, anyway. Can you play Motorsoft Flight Simulator and find Titanic's... Uh, Speedway? What? Slipway? Find Titanic's Slipway? So that's a new one. I need to, I need to play Flight Simulator and find Queen Mary. That's what I need to do. Oliver, you should do tug of war with a Great Western 14XX and a Great Western Panya tank. I don't know how to do tug of wars in this game. Oh my God, Jaws just had another super chat of another 30 US dollars. Says just thought, just thought I give, oh sorry, give a little more for you and your layout. Keep up the amazing work, Mr. Oliver. I also wish to say again that I am happy to witness a. I can't read that word. I'm sorry because I'm, I'm an idiot. Birthday of the beautiful... Oh, the uh, the birthday of the Flying Scotsman. Uh, Godspeed to you, Scotty. Um, wow. Um, Jaws, thank you so, so much for your generosity on the Lazy Jet YouTube channel. That, that is just amazing. Th thank you so much, um, Jaws. I, I, like, I really, really do appreciate that. Yeah, I've no all, the, all the super chats that you guys donate will go... Onto the uh, model railway build project. I'm actually saving up to uh, to get in this project finished. We're actually almost at our target now. All, all thanks to to Jaws and uh, James the Red Engine uh, Productions. Thanks to you two amazing pet fellows and some other people who have sent super chats as well, like Harry and all that. To all the other super chatters have sent, have sent super chats in today's live stream, and we are getting closer to actually getting hitting our target of getting this project finished. So. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for your amazing help and generosity. Okay, my friends. So, who is going to win? Bodmin or Weybridge? So, we're coming into the uh, to the uh, finish line. And it's actually not a bad-looking finish line. Look, we've got all these people here waiting for the engines to come in. So, if we um, 
we were standing on the platform. We'll probably, like all the passengers, are, well, passengers, all the, all the spectators are thinking, "Ooh, who's gonna win? Who is gonna win?" I mean, so far it's a, it's a close one. I mean, could it be a tie? If it's a tie, like, oh my god! Come on, come on! It's a very slow finish, but who will be the first to stop? Oh, this is it. This is so intense. This is so intense. Come on, Bodman. Come on, Waybridge. Look, they are such nice engines. They really, really are. I need to get... I need to... Um, do I like milkshake? Yes, I do. Vanilla and strawberry. Lovely. I need to... I need to get some more West Country classes on my... On my layout. I want to get... Yeah, maybe I should... I want to get more uh, West Country classes. So, who is going to stop first, my friends? I let you guys be the judge. And who is going to stop first? I mean, it's a very, very close finish. Who is it going to be, my friends? Who is it going to be? It, this is a very slow finish. But let's just have a look. So, who is going to stop first? The first engine to stop is the winner. So, who is it going to be? We're going to have a look at the buffers. Have a look. Who's gonna stop first? Ooh, Bodmin stopped first, and Weybridge came a super duper close finish. So Bodmin is the winner. But Weybridge, uh, Weybridge did so 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 well. Um, that was a very very close. That was like one of the closest finishes we've had in a long time. But that was good. Bodmin is the winner. So congratulations, Bodmin, for well, for winning, I suppose. And, and I don't know why. I don't know if I've told told you guys this, but um, Bodmin is a very special engine to me because me personally, Bodmin was the very first steam engine I ever saw when I was a kid. Oh, if we're going to do another race test, I would like a suggestion of race between uh, British and United States steam engines. Oh, I think we could do that for next time. Um, because unfortunately, my friends, as sad as this is going to sound, I am now unfortunately out of time, which means the live stream has come to an end for today. But we have had such a good stream. Uh, we've got a lot of that. We've got the overhead wires done, which probably took the most of the time. We got some hills and trees done, and we did, did a test run with Bodmin and Weybridge. Very close race indeed. So let's let's um, you know give it up for Weybridge and Bodmin for being two of the amazing first engines to run on this brand new racetrack. I am going to be adding a lot more detail and more scenery to this racetrack, but again, it will take a lot of time. So I think run about uh, like in between maybe springtime, like or maybe February perhaps. Um, we'll start doing some proper train simulator race videos. So that will be coming very soon. Uh, so look out for that because, you know, this racetrack is not nowhere near finished yet. But once it, it will be finished, it will look amazing. But I'll just let you guys know that um, these things do take time. But I want to say a big thank you to all the super chatters and donators for tonight's live stream. And again, thank you very much, everyone, for super chatting. And again, thank for those of you who are watching this live stream. And just thank you so much for taking your amazing uh, time to spend here on the stream. It, you guys are just absolutely incredible. Um, so thank you so much for everything you guys have done over the years and over the over the years to come on uh, on this channel. So yes, uh, thank you again so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys again next week for another live stream. Uh, we'll be got some. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe live streaming Sea of Thieves next week, but it's it's just an idea. If you guys, if you guys don't, uh, don't want me to live if you guys don't want me to live stream Sea of Thieves just let me know in the live stream chat right now. But if you guys want me to live stream Sea of Thieves let me know in the live stream chat because um Sea of Thieves is a pirate game and I think you know it might have some good content I'm not sure but we're gonna, like we're, we're going to have a good time hopefully on, on, on Sea of Thieves. But if you guys don't want me to live stream that just then just let me know. It's good to uh, get hear your feedback. But anyway, my friends, thank you again so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you guys again next time. So take care, my friends. Goodbye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.